If you hold your arm outstretched with palm upward, the force to keep your arm from falling comes from your deltoid muscle. Here. Assume that the arm has a mass of 4 kilograms and the distances and angles shown in what force must the deltoid muscle provide. So the question is, in what force, or, or rather, what force must the deltoid muscle provide to keep the arm in this position? So the deltoid muscle is what is keeping the arm up. But there are two torques going on here. We are asked to find out the force that, that the deltoid muscle exerts in order to keep the arm up. But in order to find that, we have to employ two torques about this point here, which is at the shoulder. So the distance from the point in the shoulder to the center of gravity of the arm is 38 centimeters. Uh, the, that's the radius, and the radius uh, from the shoulder to the deltoid muscle uh, is 17 centimeters. So as there is no rotation going on, the arm is just being held outstretched. There is no torque. So the torque, uh, the torque about the point in the shoulder for the deltoid muscle and the torque of the arm are both zero. So we can set these two torques equal to zero first. So let's do that. So we can say torque denoted by tau of deltoid is equal to zero and torque of arm is equal to zero. So both torques are equal, so you can set them equal to each other. So torque deltoid is equal to torque um, arm. So we know the formula for torque is uh, R F, uh, we'll say F of deltoid sine theta and is equal to the radius times the force of the arm um, sine theta. So we are asked to find the force of the deltoid, right? So we can uh, we can solve algebraically, or we can understand what the radiuses are and what the forces are. So the radius uh, for the deltoid is given to us as 0 0.7, 0 0.17 meters or 17 centimeters. The F of deltoid and the sine of the angle that of the deltoid muscle is is 15 degrees that's given to us in the problem here so sine of 15 the radius for the arm is given to us as 0.38 meters or 38 centimeters the force of the arm is its mass times its acceleration due to gravity which is mass is 4 kilograms given to us in the question and uh, its acceleration due to gravity is a constant of 9.8 meters per second square and the arm is perpendicular um, so the arm is sine of 90 which is which is sine of 90 is just one so now we can uh, solve algebraically for the force of the deltoid muscle as 0.38 we just keep these terms to this side right here and we bring 0.17 down and sine of 15 and this gives us a force of the deltoid muscle as um, I already calculated it as 340 newtons